In today's video, you're going to find out exactly how to stop comparing yourself to other people and how you can free yourself from the pain of feeling like you are worth less than other people. Let's hop in the car and get going. If you're comparing yourself to other people, chances are you are looking at someone that is way ahead of you. And I don't mean that they are more accomplished or more successful because they're better than you, but rather because you're comparing your chapter one or two to their chapter 35. And when you make that comparison, it's almost impossible for you to win. So why would you play a game where you know you're going to lose every single time? Stop comparing yourself to someone who is way ahead in the game. The most messed up thing about when you're comparing yourself to other people is that you're actually slowing down your own progress so that you could surpass them, be better than them, and exceed where they're at currently. You see, any time you spend thinking about how you're not as good as someone else is time spent giving other people an advantage over you in the marketplace, in their relationships, in their health, in every area of their life, they're going to be winning over you if you're sitting there thinking about how you're not as good as them. So the real key here is not to try to get over it or let it all go and just forget about it forever because you're supposed to be a superior human being with complete inner peace all the time. It's about taking the attention off of them and onto you. That's the real magic. That's the secret. I used to compare myself to all the people in the self-improvement industry when I first got started and that's what kept me stuck as a very small creator. Now when I realized like I have something incredible to offer, I have something original, I have something that really really will change people's lives, I started making motivational speeches that got millions upon millions and tens of millions of views. Let me tell you right now that anything that you want in your life... The same thing can happen to you. You can go from wherever you are right now where you feel like maybe you're not good enough or you're missing something or you're not as good as that person to completely surpassing them and other people and you won't even care anymore because you're so focused on your own progress. It's about taking that attention away from the things that don't serve you moving forward. When you put your attention on your progress, your growth, what you can do today to get a little bit better, things get better. When you put your attention on how you're not good enough and how you know they're ahead and they have an advantage and there's some reason that they're better and succeeding more than you, maybe they're better looking or some other BS excuse that you'll make up, you're just stuck. You slow yourself down even more. There's no progress, there's no growth, there's no explosive you know, change in your life. It's just the same thing over and over again because it's a pattern. So it's about recognizing that you're in a loop where you are comparing yourself to other people constantly, nonstop. It's a mental disease. And again, once you realize, hey, this is my chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, not chapter 57, then you realize that, hey, it's okay for me to be here and for them to be there. And by the time I'm at 57, I'll be way ahead if only I put my attention on me and my growth and where I'm going, not where they're at, what they have, who they're around, you know, what kind of shape they're in, and all those other factors that don't really relate to you or can really help you in any way. Now be inspired, right? Look at them and say, oh, that's what's possible, great. But then, get to work. Start putting in the time. Start putting in the effort to actually improving you because that's where all the magic will happen. That's where you'll experience breakthrough after breakthrough and that's where your life will change and that's when you'll stop comparing yourself to other people because now you have no reason to because you don't care anymore because you're doing great. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, before I forget, if you want to stop comparing yourself to other people, as well as get a real strategy and a game plan on how you can improve your own life and take it to the next level, I invite you to hop on a free 30-minute call with me. Just go to ringrafael.com and you can schedule our first session to meet. Again, that's ringrafael.com and you can have a private conversation with me right now. So once you're putting the attention on yourself and away from trying to be like somebody else and away from thinking that you're not good enough or that you're missing something, now really it's all about finding out what the crucial 
moving the needle tasks are in every area of your life. So wherever you wanna make progress, you gotta ask yourself, what's one thing that I can do here every single day that will change my life in this area? What's one thing, not three, not four, not five, not 10, not 20, just one. Just one thing and whatever area you want progress in, figure out the one key activity. For instance, for me, when I was losing weight, I lost over 60 pounds, you know, the real key was not trying to work out every day for five hours or even, you know, following a strict diet. It was just less calories. That was it. That was the key. Everything else was a bonus, but the real key was just eat less. The less I ate, the more weight I lost. It's simple. Progress is simple. Growth is simple. Changing your life is simple. It's just not easy because doing that one core thing every single day, that's where people get lost. They start looking at all these fancy solutions. They want that one click easy fix. And so long as you're obsessing about that, you're never going to have progress because progress requires focus on that one crucial task. So what is that for you? Drop it in the comments below. What exactly is that one crucial task in your life in that area where you're trying to make the most progress? Because once you have clarity on that, it's much easier to move forward. And now, What's the point in comparing? You know that the focus needs to be on that one crucial task.